Hi, I'm Paul Costner with Broadband Academy. Um, this video we're going to showcase a couple different types of components in the HFC network. This is a pedestal that is actually providing an amplifier. Okay, So as your signal is sent down the line, um, it can only go so far before amplification needs to take place. This pad um, is an underground pad and down in the bottom we have conduit. Okay, where that orange conduit is located, that's where our main line coming from our, our fiber optic node that we just showcased. And this is our input. As you can tell on here, it says main. So that's the input from our fiber optic node. Now, we also have this going back down the line. Okay, so that's where this main comes into play. But once again, feeding different neighborhoods or different directions, that's where our auxiliary connections come into play. So you can go different directions and that's what you want from an amplifier so you can uh, meet the needs of your network. This device here is a little bit different than the taps and the splitter. The taps and splitters are called passive devices. When, they, when I hear passive, that means there's no power that they need to operate. But nodes Fiber optic nodes and amplifiers need some type of power connection, okay? And our power connection is right over here on this post. And that is a power supply that provides the power to our, to our amplifier. So you have an AC input and then we have our coax which then comes down and feeds the power to this amplifier. We will showcase some more components, but this concludes the component of the video of the amplifier.